First, the latest on the so-called honor killings case. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Keith Garvin. Ali Irsan was found guilty of killing his daughter's husband and his daughter's best friend, and we could learn his sentence at any moment. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live at the courthouse in downtown Houston. Phil, what have you heard so far? Well, the jury went out just after noon today. Before that, they heard about three hours of arguments from the defense who urged them to give her son a sentence of life without parole. And for prosecutors who want the death penalty, they contend as long as he remains alive, he will remain a threat to others. Prosecutors urged jurors to send Ali Ersan to death row, calling him a violent, radical Muslim extremist who stalked and murdered two people he blamed for his daughter's abandonment of his religion. Ersan was convicted of murdering his daughter's husband, Cody Beavers, and her best friend, Gellere Bakersadi, because they'd encouraged her to leave Ersan's home and marry Beavers, a Christian. Ersan's wife, who's also charged in the killings, testified that he planned to kill three others before his arrest, Beaver's mother, twin brother, and his own daughter, Nazreem. A neighbor testified during the trial that Isran also bragged of killing another son-in-law in 1999. Prosecutors said even in prison, Ersan would still be a threat to them as well as to prisoners and prison staff. Prosecutor Marie Prim told jurors Ersan has no remorse. He believes everything he has done, he was justified, she said. Defense attorney Alan Tanner argued that there's no need to sentence Ersan to death because a life sentence would lock him away and that he'd be kept isolated from the general prison population. He admitted Ersan was unstable from an early age, that he'd cracked under the stress of his daughter running away to marry Beavers and then went berserk. Tanner told jurors that giving him the death penalty would be an attack on human dignity and might even prompt attacks on Americans in the Middle East. He urged them to choose life in prison, pointing out that even if her son were given the death penalty, that at age 61, he would likely remain on death row during appeals for a decade or more. I just don't see any good in killing the guy when he's 80 or 90 years old, Tanner said. What does that make us look like in America? Now, the same jury found him guilty in just 30 minutes of deliberation, but they've been out for several hours now, and just a couple of hours ago, they asked to have testimony transcripts from two state prison officials sent into the jury room, along with recordings of Rassan's phone conversation since he's been held in the, held in the county jail. They're still deliberating. Reporting live at the Federal Building downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.